Hello and welcome to this video on how to write a comprehensive test plan as a QA lead. As a QA lead, it is your responsibility to ensure that your team has a clear plan in place for testing the software and applications thoroughly. A comprehensive test plan is critical to ensure that your project meets the functional, technical, and business requirements of your stakeholders. In this video, we will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to write a comprehensive test plan as a QA lead. Step 1. Define the test objectives The first step in writing a comprehensive test plan is to define the test objectives. This involves identifying the goals, objectives, and expected outcomes of your project. As a QA lead, you should work with the project stakeholders to define the test objectives clearly. Step 2. Identify the test environment The next step is to identify the test environment for your project. This includes identifying the hardware, software, and network infrastructure required for testing. You should ensure that your team has access to the required resources and environments to test the software and applications. Step 3. Identify test data The third step is to identify the test data that will be used for testing your project. This includes identifying the data that will be used for positive and negative testing. You should ensure that your team has access to the required test data to test the software and applications. Step 4. Identify test cases The fourth step is to identify the test cases that will be used for testing your project. This includes identifying the test scenarios and the expected outcomes for each test case. As a QA lead, you should review the test cases to ensure that they cover all the scenarios and expected outcomes. Step 5. Identify test strategy The fifth step is to identify the test strategy for your project. This includes identifying the testing techniques, approaches, and methodologies that will be used to test the software and applications. You should work with the project stakeholders and your team to develop a realistic test strategy. Step 6. Identify test resources The sixth step is to identify the test resources required for testing your project. This includes identifying the personnel, hardware, software, and network infrastructure required for testing. As a QA lead, you should ensure that your team has access to the required resources. Step 7. Identify test reporting The seventh step is to identify the test reporting requirements for your project. This includes identifying the metrics, reporting formats, and frequency of reporting. You should ensure that your team is aware of the reporting requirements and can generate the required reports. Step 8. Identify risks and mitigation strategies The final step is to identify the risks associated with your project and develop mitigation strategies to address them. As a QA lead, you should work with the project stakeholders to identify the risks and develop mitigation strategies. Conclusion In conclusion, as a QA lead, it is your responsibility to ensure that your team has a plan in place to test the software and applications thoroughly. By following this step-by-step -step guide, you should now have a basic understanding of how to write a comprehensive test plan as a QA lead. Thank you for watching.